Hello everyone, happy Friday, hope you guys are well, excited about the weekend. Now, as you know, I'm hyped up about this whole thing about the app Anki copyright, who's gonna buy it and so on, so I'm actually monitoring this almost every day. Now, today we have a rather interesting news, it's mainly focusing on about the power of community, regards to Anki Vector and so on. So technically, uh, the biggest issue for those who are owning Anki Vector and those who are considering to buy Anki Vector, the biggest fear is what's going to happen next year, September, where it's known to be the final day where Anki Vector will have all the cloud functioning and so on that will cease. So there will be either the solution will be, for, based on my previous video, will be a well-known company such as Amazon, Apple, who knows, like Hans Robot, who's still developing Sophia, uh, they might actually um, buy uh, this copyright and then develop and so on. But it's not a cheap money actually, for a big company it is, but um, cheap money. But anyway, um, if you type in Anki Vector and if you search on the news section, um, this is an article published about three hours ago, titled, it's first in line, IoT News of the Week for November 1st, so today's date. So I want you guys to ignore the whole lot of all these uh, things, but if you scroll down uh, to the final paragraph, it says, <clears throat> Victor the robot lives, uh, lives on as Victor. So question mark. So Victor, so it's a similar word. Like many other Anki Vector robot owners, I was disappointed when Anki ceased her business operations earlier this year. However, a group of fellow Vector enthusiasts is still trying to keep the lovable robot alive with Project Victor. <laughs> After raising some funds, the group purchased the loot tools needed to reverse engineering engineer Vector and there's been uh, much success. The group cracked the onboard NAND, I have no idea what that is, but sounds fancy, NAND components accessing much of the Vector's code. It was in that code that the group noticed many voice assistant train, training code for Victor, not Vector, hence the project name. Uh, additionally, uh, the server certificate for Vector's API services was recently renewed through uh, August 2021. So that sounds like brilliant news, by the way. Possibly through a formal Anki employee. The end, end goal is to gain root access to all of Vector's system so that customer, so custom over the air firmware can be sent to Vector units, uh, breathing new life into personable little fella. The Google group for Project Victor is a closed group. Uh, but I requested access as a vector owner, so you should be able to do the same. So Kevin C. Toffel actually wrote a very interesting article. So um, it might be worth you guys actually look up on um, Project Victor, which I have did. So if you follow the link here on Google, the first thing if you type in on Project Victor will be the Project Victor Twitter page. Now this will be quite interesting. Um, if you get into the page, it actually shows Vector as a profile photo and I want to first, I mean you could read all the Twitter tweets um, by this user, um, but you'll see some interesting images. So these are some of the components someone managed to open up, that's the codes, um, which I thought I have already done. Uh, Qualcomm, all, all the interesting things in here, look at that. So someone took part some of the vectors and this looked like a really cool part of photo actually <clears throat> and also Voltcraft as well um, I have no idea what this device is for but I'm sure they're doing a lot of intelligent work here so Wi-Fi components um, and so on so <clears throat> basically what I'm trying to say is look up on Project Victor see if you can become a member but it sounds like a secret society to me at the moment um, but um, it depends how secret these guys are but um, I have no idea but I just want to give you some hope actually and it, I think there's a lot of potential out there as I predicted I, I, I don't I don't know whether you remember I made a video about when Anki Vector goes down there will be a riser community and this is exactly what's happening uh, people who knows what they're doing are planning to make sure that Vector later converts to Victor and continues on with the legacy. Um, and I think that will be quite interesting to see what's going to happen. So what Anki has planned to do, these people have gathered their funds 
and they're working on it. So I don't know whether becoming a member of Project Victor involves you to fund the group or whether you to get all the source you need to fund it, but it sounds like a very good alternative in case someone doesn't buy Anki Vector's copyright and patents and etc. So we shall see how that goes on. So if someone asks me um, at this stage, I, I'm already a few people actually asked me uh, whether they should buy Project, well, sorry, Anki Vector's robot, I would say, well, it's it's safe pretty much at this stage after looking at these articles. So um, make sure you consider, uh, well, don't blame me for if something goes wrong, but I think by, by what I have suggested so far, it's pretty safe to suggest that yes, it's good to buy uh, Anki Vector and those who are um, concerned to sell it, maybe it might be better to hold on to it to see what other potential uh, Anki Vector has because we have we, we just begun and they've gone down Anki, um, God forbid for them to um, I hope they're well. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching this video anyway. Uh, this Friday, as I said, hope you guys enjoy your weekend. And this is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.